hi welcome to my channel Donnery love guys today I want to do a quick quick um, to do my hair and to do a quick makeup I am NOT a makeup person I don't know nothing about makeup I don't I just know how to please myself rush and go and um, since um here I just said to myself let I show you guys how I normally just style my shot here now because as you can see my hair is very short right now so I'm just gonna do a quickly show you guys what I use so right now I use the olive vera or natural like on the weekend I blend it and I use that and steam my hair on the weekend and my daily hair gel I just use this olive vera right here it is it, it said 98% olive vera gel and you can use this on your skin they said and in your hair so and your face ear and body he said right here so I use this mostly in my hair I used to use it in my locks as well because I love everything with aloe vera. So this is what I use that I don't know much about short hair here because I don't really lick short hair for long. I don't really, I don't really, um, when I have my short hair before, I never wear it as a short hair. I try to always grow up my hair. So, so I never really buy a product to maintain a short hair. I just cut my hair to grow it back. A lot of people have short hair so they maintain it short. So I don't really know how to maintain the short hair keeping it short. I just know how to maintain it to grow back it because I want my hair to grow back. So I'm using this aloe vera and because it's short now and it can't twist on anything, I just use the gel. I, I like how the gel is just clear. It is really clear inside and um, my daughter was using another gel for for naturally and I never like it at all so I go there and because I always know this I use it so what I do I take a little bit and just um rub it in my hair I rub it I moisturize my hair and I, it, it's not really nice and and I'm um, really nice and light I love it I love this I love it and I just put some in my hair here and then I buy this short um curly stuff they said this is good for curly hair so I buy this I try it out and it really worked good I never used this before and I'm using this and it made my hair really curly and nice you see well my hair is not a thick thick hair my hair is mostly a light light hair it's light so my hair is not really really rough so what I do now, I use this little thing and just curl it up like this. If you guys don't know about this, you can check it out. And I curl it here about, I curl it like this. Curl it. You see the little curl coming up here? It worked very good, right? And I curl it. Just to make my hair look curly. And I, I actually like it because I use it every morning before I go to work and it's easy. And then what I do now, I just take the brush and just make some baby hair. I don't know how to do the, the baby hair stuff that they do. Like these, the, um, the edges thing like this. I really don't know how to do it. But my daughter always, if I need any baby hair like this, my daughter will give me show me how to do that because as I said I'm not really good at the baby ear thing and the the edges they call it edge I see that I not even know what name <laughs> if my daughter was in the room she would just laugh off of me because <laughs> the thing is I don't know I'm just like an old school girl mix up with a young school girl you know look young but <laughs> anyway yes I'm not good at the the edge the edge the edge thing I'm not good at it so um I normally just do my hair back backward because I have baby hair but if you say if not gonna do the baby hair thing I'm not good at it the only thing I do normally is just comb my baby hair down here comb my baby hair down here I comb the baby hair down here 
So I have a um, Edgecon, what do you call it? Um, um, the Edge, 24 Edge um, Cream Gel. And this is the one that I am um, using. I've been using this for a little while now. Um, I never like it too, too much just because it may make your hair white. I usually use it on my lock sometime just to put the baby here when I'm twisting at the front and make it white. But uh, my daughter continue to buy it. She says she like it. And I said, okay, it never really too bad, but I never really fussy about it. So it's not something that I fussy about. So I use that and I just curl the ear. Let's put the baby ear like this. And just, this is just, <laughs> I don't know, this is just me. And I curl it up. I just curl it, yeah, and just, and that's me. That's just me if I'm a shot here. That's just me. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to do a little make up thing as I said I am not good at makeup I'm the I don't know if I'm the worst but what I can do is help myself um since my daughter get older I know I'm gonna do my makeup but just like um just regular one two three and go like all the contour and all those stuff I don't know it I don't know how to do it I don't know how to do those things so um just um if if you one of those mom just know to just brush look a thing and you look good and go you can just watch this video and see how i do my makeup so this is um the first one that i use <laughs> um don't laugh but um um i use this first code this um this is a mac i, I have some mac product that my daughter take me to MAC and get some really nice MAC um, product for me because she's into makeup and so she know all the stuff them to use and she just pick them out and said use these so normally I never used to use this one so I start to use this I put it on the on the top here and then I just um I just tip a little bit tip a little on the face you know what I like when my daughter doing the um doing the I like when my daughter do the the day you call it do the, the the eyelash eyebrow she's very good at it I don't know how to do that one either so I'm gonna just rub it in rub it in make everything going I just use a little dimp when I'm using this I don't use plenty I don't use plenty that's a little tip I use so I'm not good at the eyebrow or the eyelash. I'm not good at that. But I, as I said, I just help myself to go. It may be look kind of white now, but it will come. Then I put it, I rub it in. I think, um, I, I want to shave. You see, I have more scotch coming up. I'm the one I'm a I'm a eerie girl so I'm one of those girls that always have ear I have here here so ear on my legs and and guess what I cannot use um wax I cannot wax my hair on my legs I wax my hair my leg twice and I break out um a story so one day I was going on vacation and I I was going on, I was going to Jamaica, my country, on vacation. So I know that my skin can't take wax. But because I said it was a couple years after, so I waxed my leg once when when I was pregnant with my first daughter. No, she's staying. So 10 years back now, just um, last year, I was going on vacation to Jamaica. And I said, let me wax my leg because it's easier more than shave since I go up on the beach and so. And I bother, don't bother um, shave because sometimes, you know, they have no time. So I was doing my nails and I was, you know, do my, 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 my pedicure, my manicure. So I say, okay, let's wax my, make and wax my legs, you know? God, I'm telling you, it's the worst thing I ever do. When I wax my legs, 
and everything was okay the first. You see, when I and I fly, I fly, I flew out the other morning, you know, and 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 went back home. So when I reach, when I land, when I was in the plane, my, my leg was scratching me. I said, "Oh my foot, oh my itching like that." So when I went home now, back now, and when I pull off my clothes. All of my leg is is bump 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 bump. Imagine we Jamaica would have said, imagine a foreigner come down and my legs spotty spotty with a lot of spot, red spots all over my legs. Red spot all over my legs. I, in, I'm hot at, at country and I could never show my leg. All of my leg does spotty, spotty. Spot, 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 spot. And I was so frightened. It's like, what are what my skin? When I realized, I don't wax do it. So I stay away from wax. I don't wax anymore. Because it's not good for me to wax. You know, thing irritate my skin. I don't know why. So I leave the wax alone, right? So that's the story about the wax. So Because I'm very eerie. So as you can see. I have here, here, I have here, here, and I have here the private, you know, a year ago already. Yeah, so I don't, so sometimes because I have that skin problem when it comes to summer and to shave and stuff, I have that problem. Even, even, even though sometimes they said use different product, you know, cream and stuff to take off the hair, but my hair is so thick. Yeah. So after I do this part, you see it come out very nicely. After I do this this part, I normally use my eyeliner. Yes, I use eyeliner. I like to use eyeliner. So I use the eyeliner now. Oh, I normally, I normally comb up this part. The eyebrow part. I normally, comb, I normally comb it up like this. Give it a nice shape. I have a lot. I have a lot of eyelash and eyebrow. Thank God for that. I'm gifted. No. Not gonna gifted. Um, what do I call it now? I I have good naturally eyebrow and eyelash. You know, I have good good ones. A lot. I think I get that from my mommy. Mommy first. Anyway, not even say my mommy because um. My dad, dad is from Cuba, so I have Cuban descent. So, actually, I have Cuban descent into me because my dad, father is Cuban. So, even my dad is Jamaican. We still have some. And my mom, dad, mother is from Cuba. So, the two ancestors actually is from Cuba. So, that's what I told, you know. So, anyway. So I have some Cuban inside. I think I have some Spanish in some Spanish in me, you know. So anyway, after I use this, I use the, the for the eyelash, the the um this part. So I just normally put a little down here, just a little bit. I normally use right here, and I put it right there. And I put another little corner here. Then I put it right there again. Then I normally do this. I always do this from when I was like in teenager, and and if me got you know when pencil used to wear back in the day when I was high school, the girl used to do this a lot. So when my aunt um have it, I also tip it out and do this, and I just rub it on my lip here, son. So I have um. Here, I just um, have some color right here. I'm gonna just put some color. You know what? I, do, I don't normally use a stick, I normally use my hand because I'm not a makeup person. So I just tip a little here, and just depends on what outfit. Anyway, I'm a one color girl. When I'm when I'm wearing anywhere I'm going, I always have like same colors. It's pink, gold, and all these natural colors. You know, sometimes I need our pink. I always have pink on top and pink on bottom. I have another big, these are mine. 
my daughter have all the good good makeup with names and stuff because i'm not even about to even gonna try nothing about it i keep my old-fashioned way because that's how i go so these are my color my everyday color and i was wearing pink pink and red and stuff so i put a little bit over my high here I always use my hand though. I never normally use this thing because I just use my hand and deal with it. Because this color fit me very well, right? So I always use this. This this is my number one color. And I just put some right here again. Like if I know all for all my hand. <laughs> oh, because you know what? I always use my hand. I can just use or I use it. Because I'm a hand I always use. Because it go better. I just do like this. Because, I mean, as I said, I'm not a makeup person, so I just, if you want a little tip, everyday makeup, and you are a mother, and you want to run, I just want to do everyday makeup, bam, 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 and go, this is it. You can use your hand, yeah, use my hand. You see the color bright and pretty, eh? You see this color goes well with me? And then I put little right here. Yeah, and that's me. And then what I normally do, I comb, I just comb here, up here, again, with an eyeshadow brush. Just comb it. I really don't know how to line it, and I'm not going to try how to line it because I maybe mess up it. Because I really don't know how to line it. I said I'm going to get to know how to do a little more makeup yeah i can do everything else but i just don't practice to do the makeup thing don't practice it I've, and then i comb i brush this up here so uh, brush it up nicely I always do this when I finish. I have long look can happen now. You see what happened up here now? It's okay. I'll fix it. See I tell you I'm not a good makeup girl. I'm not I don't know nothing about the makeup history. <laughs> I'm not I'm not one of those makeup persons. I tell you, I'm not, I'm really not. And maybe I have to always comment, comment these girls that do the makeup because they really do a good job. They does. Then, okay. It's okay. Make her just brighten it a little bit more, you know? Forget the finished look. It brightened. So, okay. So I have this red lipstick. Since I'm gonna pink up here, I'm gonna use um I have a nice pink lipstick that a friend have it friend um I get it from a friend. This young lady, this she's so nice. It's not even a friend. It's a young lady that come by my company one day and she was working and I said to her that wow you have a lovely lipstick. And, and this is very beautiful because she have a big lip. Bigger than mine. I know I have a big lip too, you know. I have a big lip. <laughs> but her lip was bigger than mine. And her lipstick was very pink and pretty. And I was commented. I said, oh, well, your lip is so beautiful, that pink lip. The other day, she said, here's one of the lips that I use. And I from it was, it's not so bad, like, um, rough of seven, eight years. I have my... Girl, I, ha I don't I don't want to go there. I have my stuff. I keep my stuff them very long I'm a girl that have things like 20 years how much years and this was the pink lipstick And she gave and she gave me this one and I have it ever since Yeah, and she just gave me and I always said I want to you know, give back that girl something but guess what she never stay long by the workplace She gone, you know, so anyway, I have this lipstick and if I ever see her again I will tell her about the lipstick. Yeah. So this is the lipstick. I normally have pink pretty lip. I have nice lip. My lip always pink and pretty. 
have to say that. I don't have to wear lipstick to make the pump up. They have ready. I can just lick them off and they're pretty, okay? So, doing that, so like how this, it's so like how my lip push out. I saw the girl lip was stay the day. Very push out and nice. Okay, and that, and then I just put a little bit more eyeliner. See it? So, and if I want to just um, pump it off with a look of shyness, I just put a little, little shyness over it like this. And look at this. What do you guys think? Don't this is a good, nice, this can lick the club, a party and everything. Right? It come out real good. Just ch trust me. Tell me. Don't you think it come out real good? Even though I mess up a little bit, but this is my makeup. If I'm gonna go anywhere, you're gonna see this look. You're gonna see this smile. Well, I don't have my locks now, so you know, if I find a different style. <laughs> Guys, if you love my little makeup and my hairdo over, please give me a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel and get some more because this is the girl, Donnery Love. Thank you.